Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is automated processes, or otherwise known as software validation. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen. Please go back and check out the introduction. You can look at the video description for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will cover. For these videos, we have a standard agenda which covers four areas. You can see those in the progress bar. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for those three bonus questions. Our requirement, software validation, comes directly from 820.70i and 1345 sections 4.1.6 and 7.5.6. Automated processes or software validation in five words. Validate software for intended use. Any software used in the quality management system has to be validated for its intended use. So what I want you to think about is spreadsheets used where calculations are made or decisions are made or macros are used. Your Kappa software, your NCR software, your ERP, so your enterprise resource planning software, inventory control, environmental monitoring, software inside your manufacturing equipment, statistical techniques software, basically any software that's used inside the quality management system to meet a quality system requirement, you have to validate that software. When you hear software, you need to think validate. You should always ask, is that software validated? So how do I know this is working? Well, first, I have a defined procedure that outlines how I assess and validate software. Second, all the software that I use is validated for its intended use. And then finally, I have a good change management process for software. So if I make changes, I evaluate whether I need to do new validation activities or I need to revalidate that software. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, I have software that's not validated. And then second, I make changes to software systems and I don't do the appropriate validation work after the change. Now for the three bonus questions. How do we assess software before it's actually put in use for the need to validate it? Or how do we determine the extent of validation for the software that we use? Second, what procedures do we have for validating software? Third, what change management process do we use to review and approve software system changes? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.